Hi, my name is Matt. I work for Intermec Technologies Corporation. Today we're going to run water over a CN4 and submerge it underwater. This is a test. If you can hear this, the device is still working. It does. It sounds like the device is still working. Hi, Ryan White here. Uh, we thought we'd put together a little video and show you how the CN3 is rugged. Uh, as you can see here, we're doing a normal six foot drop test. Uh, this is our normal test fixture. It's a, a steel plate over concrete. And there's a drop uh, about 10, 11 feet all the way up to the ceiling. As you can see, the CN3 is a very rugged device. Um, it's a culmination of numerous uh, years of experience on other products uh, with some new design ideas in the CN3 where we've taken taken the product and, and shrunk down a lot of our normal design ideas. As you can see here, there's some tall drops associated with uh, now some scanning and, and a good look at the display. Um, we've, we've taken our design ideas and essentially rewritten some of our uh, rule books and uh, changed how we are doing it so that we can get a very rugged product into a small package. Uh, there's a trip into the bucket so you can see how the, the product is uh, fully sealed. And again, uh, scanning some barcodes here. Uh, those of you familiar with uh, past videos know of our drive over test, a uh, highly scientific test here. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the CN3 uh, puts up with that quite well. Showing the touch screen and uh, scanning again here. Um, uh, it was actually raining that day. You can see the drops on the screen. Um, what we're showing here is the keypad and how the onto a hard metal edge on the, one of our lab tables. The keypad is a very rugged design and puts up with uh, quite a bit of side load, as you can see here. Um, its laser etched keys are. Uh, burned into the top layer of plastic of the key so as you can see we can take off plastic with uh, 240 grit sandpaper here and you can still see the legends on the key thank you for watching our video